Previously on the Aruba Switching Story, we've learned about the Edge Services platform and how Aruba Switching fits into the unified infrastructure portion of ESP. We've discussed our workflow and how we need to connect a security camera in the Campus Edge to be able to access a facial recognition application in the data center. So we provisioned the data center using the Aruba Fabric Composer. We've learned about data center br bridging and how it can help Aruba data center switches. We've also been able to provision the campus infrastructure to be able to plug in the camera securely. We've learned about securely plugging in the camera with Aruba dynamic segmentation. In this episode, we're going to hear from Yash and Kamal Takodra, who are technical marketing engineers, to dis discuss more about power over Ethernet and how this applies to our workflow, specifically the advanced capabilities of PoE in Aruba CX switching with always on and quick PoE. Yash and Kamal. Hey, Justin. Thank you very much for that. So, yes, as Justin said, uh, I'm Kamal Takodra, and I'm joined by Yash. We're both um, technical market engineers in the CX switching business unit. Um, and we're going to talk about some high availability features around PoE, specifically what we call always on PoE and uh, quick PoE. So, yes, I think we have a diagram of our setup, don't we? Yes. Come yeah. on. Thank you. So um, what we're going to be focusing on is this uh, VSF um, setup where we have a PoE light and a couple of um, cameras, one needing PoE. And we're going to talk about how high availability. So, yes. So we have some great high availability features on CX switching. And one that I hear about is always on PoE. But I also hear about something called quick PoE. Could you please tell me about them and the differences and how they could possibly help our customers? Sure, Kamal. Thank you very much for asking that very important question, which is very, very important feature on an access switches. Before we jump on to always on and quick PoE, it is good to understand a description of what is PoE is. Power over Ethernet, in short, PoE describes pass of the electric power along with the data on a twisted pair cable. As you see on the screen, the same Ethernet cable can pass the electric power to power on this IP camera, as well as this power on this IP PoE or wireless access points along with the data. That's the best part of power over Ethernet. Since 2003, we have three standards coming out of the power over Ethernet. As you know, 802.3 AF, AT, BT are the three standards we have from the PoE standards. But PoE devices are there from so long. For those devices, we do also support not only only PoE standards, along with that, we have a pre-standard support. Means you can boot the pre-standard phones, which are before the 2003 devices. Moving on to always on and quick PoE. So always on and quick PoE is two terms. It's good to understand if we understand two words of what is warm boot as well as cold boot is. If you know warm boot is basically Kamal, so you have the power connected, right? And you're not taking out the power physically turning off the device. That is called a warm boot. That means when you are trying to upgrade the connected AOSCX device, for example, if you see here, I have an access AOSCX device, which is a VSF stack. This device, if you're trying to upgrade from a version to a version, let's consider you are then 10.5, you're trying to upgrade it to 10.6. During that upgrade process, it goes through a warm reboot because you're not physically turning off the device. During that process, these connected PDs like power or ethernet lighting on the floor or camera on the floor will continue to receive power. They will not be reset at all. 
that is the beauty of the future feature always on the always on feature continues to supply the power even during the warm reboot or soft reboot without having any interruption to the connected power devices like ip camera or ip poe light or the wireless aps then as you asked about quick poe as the name itself it is saying pass the power as quick as possible is the meaning of the quick poe this works when during the cold reboot cold reboot is basically for some reason the switch went for a switch off state switch off means somebody removed the physical power from the aoscx switch and in intentionally or unintentionally the power came back and you start seeing the aoscx started booting as you know the boot process will have three major steps a boot loader service os loading and then the the real os loading will happen with the quick poe turned on the poe controller will set that flag and as soon as it gets the power which is connected back it is going to supply the power back to the all the connected power devices like poe light and camera the big advantage with this is kamal you can see these pds can boot in parallel along with the aoscx firmware upgrade is happening that means as soon as the aoscx switch is ready the pds are also ready for data communication that is the power of quick poe so with cold reboot we have a feature called quick poe with a warm reboot we have a feature called always on poe we recommend all our customers when they use the quick poe or always on poe to enable both together on the aoscx switches because you never know when somebody is going to take off the power connected pds can boot very quickly and also the always on feature helps in any type of software upgrades hope that is clear to you kamal yes that was really well explained and now i know the differences between always on and quick poe always on poe is really a soft or a warm reboot so my endpoints will maintain effectively their ip addresses and don't need to reboot again things like cameras and aps etc so that's great when i'm doing the upgrade process it's a ha feature but quick poe is really more about supporting things like lighting systems if there's a cold boot and power is immediately provided to the devices prior to the software being ready so it's really giving me the poe quickly that is fantastic now i understand that yes so please yes is there any possibility that we can see this in action absolutely come on so all of this can be easily demoed as you said we are focusing more on the access switch today because that's our layer of focus as you see on the screen this is where we are focusing and you will see the same demo during our process before we get on to the demo i would like to explain the setup to you so that you remember this and we walk through the same step during our demo process as you see here there are two cameras for interest of my demo i'll be using a camera which is connected on 3/1/2 which is a member on a vsf stack please watch out what is the setup on this this is a member which is connected on the vsf stack and i have a poe switch on a standby on a vsf stack which is a smart rate poe switch which is passing the poe you can see here this is the signature of a poe you will see which is passing the poe that is electric power is passed to these power devices which is ip camera and ip lighting so this camera which is on a member is watching this poe light okay which is on 2/1/5 the 3/1/2 is watching the poe light so during our demo we are going to do following steps so that you will be understanding always on feature as well as 
quick PoE feature. What we are going to do is with the always on turned on, we are going to upgrade the two slash one slash two. That is nothing but the standby switch. We are going to do an upgrade. That is means we are going to do a soft reboot with the connected power. And you, you will see the PoE light will always be on because that is the feature turned on on AOS CX switches. On the quick QoE part, what we are going to do is, we are going to remove the power for the member two, which is a standby, and you will see the PoE light going off, and we'll immediately turn on the power for a member two. Before even the complete OS booted, you will see the PoE light on just with the bootloader itself. These two demos we are going to demonstrate with you in few seconds. Hope this topology is clear to you, Kamal. Yes, yes, that was very clear. So you're going to do two things. You're going to show always on and quick PoE in two sort of separate scenarios. Yes. Let's move on and understand the real picture of the topology. So as you see, Kamal, this is the AOS CX switch we were talking about, okay? So I've logged into the web UI of the AOS CX switch. And you will see this is a very rich, rich web UI. You will see many tabs here. I will directly jump onto a tab, which is VSF. This switch, as we were talking, this is very, very important because this is what we are going to see very, very clearly during our, all our demonstration. You can see all the members are booted perfectly fine. One is a master, another one is a standby. I've clicked on the standby to show you this is a power over ethernet switch. And another member, which is three slash one slash two, which I was talking about where the camera was connected and this is the member. So without much wait time, let's move on to a POE tab. As I said, the web UI is very rich. It has three members stack. You can see here, this is the standby, which I was talking about. You can see on the standby, the ports which are connected are two slash one slash two, as well as two slash one slash five. Both are connected and you can see both are delivering the power. Okay. So what I'm going to do is let me take you to a CLI before this one, watch this window. It gives you all ability, which you can configure, try some of the edit on the POE switch. For example, if you want to edit this port and change some of the parameters, you can do so. But we highly recommend for doing any kind of a configuration, we highly recommend you to use the Aruba net edit. So as you see the uh, priority, POE priority is basically critical high and low. The default is low. So you can always change it so that you can boot the device faster wherever you are connected. If you're connected on a slash 24, what will happen with the POE priority feature, it's gonna boot that device first. With this class usage and also uh, allocation by usage and allocation by class, both are supported on your CX switches. So you can allocate power with the class one, class two, class three, or you can just leave it default, which is going to make use of the usage and understand the POE negotiation and then allocate the power depending on the power device. Okay. So and then you look at this one, you can enable on a port. That means I can go to this any port. I can disable the power or ethernet or enable the power or ethernet. One thing you have to note, uh, Kamal, when we are discussing about this power or ethernet, power and data are totally different. So electric power is, uh, is going on a different twisted pair of cables inside that uh, twisted pair and data is going on a different pair. So what need we have to do, if you want to disable, even though the port is shut, that is not going to do any kind of a damage to the power or ethernet. It'll, the power will be continued to pass, which I'm going to show you in a minute. You have to specifically get into that interface and con unconfigure the power with the no power or ethernet. Then only the electric power reaching to the device will be stopped. So this is in case if you're connected uh, pre-standard phones, that means before the standard of 8023AF, then you need to enable this pre-standard to detect so that we know exactly it is a pre-standard phone. So moving on, 
So you saw this rich web UI support for all the features, most of them required on the access switches and same with aggregation and core switches, same web UI, rich web UI is supported. So let's move on and see the common usage of CLI so that we all know how to use the power, power over ethernet feature uh, from the CLI window. So as I was talking about two slash one slash five is where the camera is connected, uh, uh, is where the POE light is connected, sorry. And three, three slash two, one slash two is where the, uh, we have camera, which is focused, who is looking at this beside, as you see the POE light. So as you see now, three slash one slash two is where the camera is there and it is authenticated camera, which is watching this POE light. You, hear, uh, you, have, you might have already heard a lot about uh, UBT and VNBT. So this is the camera which is focusing the POE light. So now what I'm gonna do, I'll go back to two slash one slash five. You can look at the configuration. It has no configuration. You can see this is the default configuration on AOS CX switches, access switches, and it is in a VLAN access number one. But still, you can see there is a power getting delivered. So that means default, it is interfaces are no shut and power will be delivered to the connected power devices. So what I'm going to do to confirm that one, I'm going to go to this interface. Let's see, before that one, let's see yeah, just a minute, uh, the MAC address of all these devices so that we remember. So Macers is de detail. You can see uh, two slash one slash five is this is the POE light. And you can see three slash one slash two is the camera. You can see the port access security is enabled and it is uh, got the right role. And this is what it is watching the POE light. Now what I'm going to do to just to confirm this is passing the uh, POE or not let me just remove the power from this interface. Remember, it's not going to do any damage to the data, but just going to remove the power from this port. Let us see whether it will remove the power. You can see on the screen, whatever you are seeing, this POE light, which was connected on this port is now shut down because I removed the power. But note that the interface two slash one slash five is still up now it is down because the connected device itself down. It is not admin down. You can see this one, the link is still up. Okay, let us now do one thing. Let us bring it up back to slash one slash five. Let us bring the power over ethernet and see whether the light will come back or not. Yes, you can see now the light is on. That means we are looking at the right setup. With this, let us try to understand now the always on feature, which Kamal was requesting for a demo. So you can see always on feature by default on POE switches, AOS CX POE switches, it is turned on. That means what we can do, we can go and reboot the VSF member two and see whether this POE light will stay up or not. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna execute a write mem and reboot the VSF stack. How are you going to reboot the VSF stack member? So VSF, right, member, whichever the member it is, and it's a POE number two, and I'm going to do a reboot before that one. Let us watch whether it is a VSF stack, and that's what we are going to reboot. Show VSF topology. You can watch this one. This is the member two. Show VSF detail is going to tell us the, all the switch details. You can see this is the member two, and you can watch here, this is a smart rate POE switch. So now we are going to reboot the VSF member two. And we will, what is the expectation? The expectation is the switch should continue to pass the power and the, we should continue to see the POE light, what we are seeing here on the screen. Okay, I'm going to press the reboot. It's going to ask me the confirmation. Let me provide the confirmation. You can see now it is rebooting. Whether it is rebooting or not, let us confirm through a web UI which I showed you a few minutes back. Let me take you back there. So you can see the member two is not present. It is booting now, right? Even though the member two is doing a firmware upgrade or it is getting reloaded for some software reason, you will not have any interrupt to the power devices. The power devices on the floor that like POE lighting continue to get the power 
and you will have the light on the floor which is very very important if you come across such use cases right you have many verticals where you need a 24 bar 7 uninterrupted power during all that time you will see this always on feature is beneficial so you can still continue to see it's not present and let's watch this one on the cli and so that we are clear on the cli vsf detail also you can watch member 1 is up and running it's perfectly fine so the status you can see up and connected right you can see here the status of the member 2 it is not present this is what the member which is currently uh, going through a reboot process show vsf topology earlier you saw three members were there now you will see only two members because the member 2 is still rebooting so now you can see the vsf member 2 which is standby is up and running perfectly fine let us watch that one on the web ui also we to confirm you can see it is still booting there is no interruption at all on the poe switch the vsf stack is almost completely formed right you can see the topology it is completely formed and vsf detail let us watch this one again and status is up you can see the status has come and become a standby so during the continuous process of the soft reboot the always on feature helped the power devices like poe light to continue to glow without any interruption as you just saw always on is continue to pass the power during the warm reboot what we are going to see now we are going to do a cold reboot and turning on the quick poe quick, quick poe feature on so to turn on the quick poe feature on you have to get into the global mode of the aoscx switch and type the power over ethernet and turn on the quick poe on the 2/1 because we have only one poe on the overall stack of the vsf as you see here the member 1 is not a poe switch member 3 is not a poe switch only member 2 is the poe switch so we have turned on the quick poe now so i'm going to do a write mem now what i'm going to do i'm going to turn off the power of the member 2 and see how quickly the poe light will be on and let's see that demo so you, now you can see on the on the web ui all the member is perfectly up you can see master standby and a member the stack is complete so i'm going to go back to the pdu and turn off the power for this device you can watch here this is the member 2 i'm going to turn off the power for this device as soon as i do that turn off watch the poe light it should get turned off now the poe light is off because we switched off the power now i'm going to turn it on back so we turned on the power for the poe switch you should immediately see as soon as the bootloader is up you should immediately see the power coming on to this poe light you can see the poe light has come up but still the member 2 is not present that means it is still booting even in the vsf stack topology you can see vsf topology you can see the member 2 is not all there that means it is still booting only the first portion of the boot that means bootloader service os and product os three steps are there now the bootloader is just loaded with bootloader loading you can see the poe light is turned on that is the power of quick poe where you are going to set the poe controller flag up so that whenever the anything happens like this cold boot your poe connected devices can boot in parallel along with the aoscx firmware os booting process so as it is booting we have the poe light with this always on as well as quick poe demonstration complete as you see on the screen still the power over ethernet device which is aos cx is still booting but the power device which is connected poe light it is up and running perfectly fine almost the vsf stack standby is completing the boot process you can see now the product os is loaded hence it is detected it is a standby and it is booting now so now if you see the topology you can see the member 2 is up and perfectly fine and join the stack 
with this i'll complete the both always on and quick poe demo hope kamal this is clear to you and made both the feature how important and why it is required on access layer switches is clear to you Yes, Yash, that was very clear. Thank you for those demos. It really brought it home to me. I've got a handle on that, the difference between always on for um, warm reboot and quick POE for really cold reboots. So with this, I'm going to hand it back to Justin. Thank you, Kamal and Yash, for explaining the benefits of power over Ethernet, especially with always on POE and quick POE. In our next episode, we're going to hear again from Matt Fern and Ruben Iglesias, who are going to tell us about the benefits of Virtual Switching Framework, or VSF, our front plane stacking solution, and the benefits of using that in the campus network. So please don't hesitate to join us.